I love this. Fox Corp settles defamation suit with Venezuelan businessman. It's a dude that Fox News claimed was part of the election lie and he sued over defamation and now Fox Corp settled because they wanted to go to court and everybody see that they were lying and this is awesome and Fox News viewers would be like no Fox News always tells the truth has privately settled a defamation case. It's not the big case that we've been talking mm -hmm. about a lot here with the voting machine company Dominion. This is a different case involving a Venezuelan businessman. Yeah, NBC News Digital Senior Reporter Jane Tim is here with us now to walk us through this. Jane, so tell us about this. What are we learning about this new settlement? Yeah, so we don't know the details of this private settlement, but I can tell you about sort of the case, and it's very similar to that Dominion case that you did reference. Now, Venezuelan businessman uh, Mahed Khalil was sort of ensnared in Sidney Powell conspiracy theory and he was identified on the Lou Dobbs show with his name on graphics and in social media social media posts uh, sort of s claiming he was sort of a front man and a key player in the election conspiracy theory that as we know did not happen the idea that votes were changed and it involved the Venezuelan government and Maduro and Chavez um, and this individual this uh, Venezuelan businessman who was never even reached out to for comment um, his name seems to have almost been pulled out of thin air as he says he has absolutely no ties to any of the voting systems um, that were sort of brought up in these conspiracy theories. Um, and, and he brought a defamation suit against Fox. Fox Corporation and Fox News have agreed to settle with him uh, over those programs. And Jane, let me, let me ask about the deal here coming days just before Fox News yeah. is headed to trial to defend itself in a separate $1.6 billion defamation suit coming from Dominion Voting Systems, right? Dominion says that it was defamed by Fox mm -hmm. News when Fox aired claims that Dominion Voting Systems rigged essentially the 2020 election against President Trump at the time. Will this settlement have any impact on that other case? You know, they're, they're separate cases, but it does go to show that the Lou Dobbs broadcast on December 10th, which has been uh, is also a part of the Dominion case, and the tweet that was also part of the Dominion case as challenged statements, alleged defamation against Dominion as well, um, that those are really tricky parts of this case for Fox. Uh, as one source said, this really confirms that that's critical key parts of this defamation suit. And they're not just being sued by Dominion, but also another voting machine company Smartmatic so Fox News has two big cases on their hands and I know Dominion is coming up next month just the fact that this settlement has happened is confirms that yes yeah Jane Tim thank you